is an easy problem but it will give it will teach you a very important skill which is actually actually used in your fenwick trees a lot like it's the prime um, thing or base of fenwick trees sprung says that you are given an integer n and you have to return true if it is a power of 2 and you know what's the power of 2 let let's say 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 4 all the other power of 2 which means 2 4 8 16 and so on and so forth now otherwise you have to return a false an integer n is a power of 2 if there exists an integer x such that same same n equals to 2 to the power x now it simply means that whatsoever integer n we have only two divides that specific integer and we can just simply check that what the problem is saying simple brute force that uh, a simple n for us if my n is 0 simply return a false because then it, it is not a power of 2 else i can simply go and check if my n mod 2 is 0 keep on dividing that keep on again while loop is keep on dividing that number by 2 and ultimately if i have reached 1 which means okay it was a power of 2 for example if we just do a small dry run let's say n was 8 yeah n mod 2 is 0 okay divide my n by 2 okay n will become 4 again 4 mod 2 is 0 okay D divide my n by 2 again my n will become a 2 uh 2 mod 2 is 0 yeah again divide my n by 2 so n will become a 1 now with that case you can simply see that your n has finally reached to 1 and again 1 is also power of 2 which is 2 to the power 0 right so i can simply say that yeah i have reached my base case and simply this is a power of 2 for example if it would not have been the case which means n equal to 12 then i can simply say okay 12 mod 2 yeah it is divisible by 2 simply divide that by 2 6 mod 2 again it is it is divisible by 2 divide that by 2 3 mod 2 is not oh sorry bro my last thing which i can have is 3 so n equal to 3 it is not equal to my 1 which means i did not reach my base case so the number n whatsoever i have started off with it is not a power of 2 so simply return a false so i can simply say my base condition as if my n finally becomes equal to 1 after doing a complete division by 2 then okay it's a power of 2 else it's not a power of 2 so uh, you can simply see it is doing a simple division by 2 at every step which means i can simply say okay i have a log i can i'm dividing by 2 then again i'm dividing by 2 then again by 2 then again by 2 and so on and so forth it's a simple log in operation right as you have simply seen and space we are not using any extra space so space is o of 1 but can we improvise that now improvisation of log n is only o of 1 so we have to think of improvising that to o of 1 now for the folks who have watched our fenwick tree fenwick tree video again if you have not watched it i will highly recommend go watch it it is a complete fenwick tree guide and it's a very short and simple code just one line of code and in that we have completely again this portion right right here you see right i use exactly same code exactly same code so in that what happens is okay if we start visualizing how a power of 2 will look like in a binary form then i can completely reach to a conclusion that let's say a power of 2 which means 8 it will look like that my third bit third bit will be set from the right side if i have a power of 2 which is 4 then my fourth bit will be set from the right side and the same way you will see that this binary representation itself says okay what is the power of 0 power of 1 sorry as in uh, a 2 raised to the power 0 a 2 raised to the power 1 a 2 raised to the power 2 so this indicates this indicates what all powers i have for that specific 2 now ultimately if something is a power of 2 which means it is just a 2 raised to the power x so that x the bit will be set that's it while if it is not the case which means if the number is 12 so it will be a mixture of a power of 2 which means a 2 raised to the power 3 or plus a 2 raised to the power 2 which means 2 bit will be set so i can simply infer one thing that if if i have a power of 2 then only one bit, one bit will be set if it is not a power of 2 then more than one bit will be set in that number so i just have to figure out that in the binary representation of my number n if only one bit is set then it's a power of two else it is not a power of two now how i, I can do it there are multiple ways there are two ways but again we have to just figure out an o of one way again i'm saying there are two ways to do it in o of one way but we will go on with what helps us and what we have been using so far so in this we remembered that we removed the last set bit if you go and look at this exact same screenshot of the code then in that we removed in this you will see that we flipped the last set bit 
and if i just simply say one thing that i have only one set bit if i even flip that specific set bit again i know i have just one set bit if i just flip that set bit it will simply become a zero so if i apply the same operation on this number n and i flip the last set bit or basically i know that it will have only one set bit i will flip that bit then the number should become ideally zero then if it becomes zero then it's a power of two else it is not so i'll do the exact same thing i'll remove the last set bit and the number should become a zero let's see what happens in that case so basically let's say we have a number n again i have used exact same piece of information here i have a number n i i can represent that same in the normal binary form again i'll explain dry running that but i also take the minus n now minus n is nothing but the negative of the previous n how to get a binary form of this minus n again it's a very standard technique which is called as two's complement and how to generate the two's complement of a number n it is nothing but flipping the bits of the number n in the binary form and then adding a one if we do that we will generate the two's complement and two's complement represent negative of that number again now what we will do is we have got n and minus n we will simply do a and operation between our n and our minus n then what will happen is we will get only the last set bit with this operation we will get only the last set bit but if you remember my operation was to remove the last set bit so from this n i'll remove the last set bit this was the last set bit i am removing that from my n thus i am removing or flipping my last set bit and with this if i do something like this operation ultimately my n ultimately if i just assign that to n or basically this operation should turn out to be a zero if this is zero then for sure i had a power of two for example take an example okay number is seven we can visibly see it is not a power of two right it is not a power of two number is seven i have three set bits so for sure i'll apply the same operation id is one 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 again everything is in the binary form then minus of id again as i showed you i'll take this is a two's complement and how to generate that simply flip the bits okay flip the bits and then simply add a one so i'll get a two's complement now as you remembered i'll do an and operation between them by doing an and operation between them i can simply see that i will only have the last set bit so in this operation after doing the and operation i only had the last set bit last set bit now i've just removed the last set bit from my actual actual input which was the id in this case so again if you might have seen Aryan, what is this query and stuff it is the exact same piece of code which will help you in actually your fan victory that's the reason i have related that with the fan victory because see fan victory is a hard concept but this is an easy problem so i just want you to relate everything so that you don't have to study or you don't have to think that okay what why i'm studying this why it is useful all that stuff so you saw that okay this is the last set bit now you just have to remove that from your id so id was simply 111 which is number seven i i have the last set bit i'll simply remove that simply subtract which means remove that now you will get a value in this you can see your last set bit is flipped but again as you saw after flipping the last set bit the number did not become to zero equal to zero because for sure it was not a power of two so let's let's see another example so if i had the number six again it should also not ideally become to zero when you remove the last set bit and we'll see the same exact same stuff that we had an id we'll do a minus id again we had an id like we will uh, again do this operation entire operation and subtract it then my id will actually become a four you can just try it by yourself also but yeah this can actually become a four so i know simply my id has become a four now same way uh this did not this this after doing this operation id again you will see that this did not actually reach to a value zero so again for sure this was not a power of two but let's say we take this example now we know by by number we see it is a four which is a power of two so it should ideally by removing the last set bit as you can also see by removing this last set bit and making it a zero it should ideally become equal to a zero so the exact same operation that i have my number four i'll get the id and i'll do id and minus id what will happen id is equals to a 0 1 0 0 minus of id firstly getting the getting the two getting its two's complement so flipping the bits okay flip the bits 1 0 1 1 again every bit will be one no worries now add a one so what i will get i get a 0 1 sorry 0 1 0 and all that stuff 
now this is id and this is minus id so after we do the and operation what will happen is id and minus id so means 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 i'll do an and operation i get a 0 1 0 0 now i have to subtract this last set bit from the id itself so i'll do a id minus id and minus id id was a 0 1 0 0 minus i like this id minus id is actually nothing but a 0 1 0 0 i'll subtract that i'll simply get a 0 0 0 0 this is the reason i have removed the last set bit i have i have got the value 0 thus my id was a power of 2 and thus i can simply say that i had a power of 2 itself thus i can simply have the exact same code that x and minus x let's say my input was n or i can say x anything now you will start in why you why you used long because you can see that my n is actually minus to power 31 which is out of integer bounds because integer has a limit of minus to power 31 to to power 31 so this is out of my integer bounds so if you use that so you will exactly get the error at this runtime error so i used a long to convert that to a long because of this just value and then i used the x and minus x to actually get the last set bit remove the last set bit from my number x and after removing that i should get a value zero if i am getting a value zero which means i had only one set bit which means i had a power of two cool that by that you can simply solve it time of one and space of o of n cool bye bye thank you so much bye bye